In this video, I want to try and explain aesthetics and geoms a bit, a bit further uh, using an analogy. And the data set that we're going to be thinking about is the, the, the simple one that we considered before, which looks something like this. So the first part of our ggplot command is to define the aesthetic. So here we had AES and then we had kind of X, uh, I could say X equals X, Y equals Y, and uh, label equals label. And as I say, this defines our aesthetic. I like to think about aesthetics as representing kind of the genes of our data. They're sort of characteristics that define our data. Then, dependent on the type of joms that I then use, then the genes get interpreted in quite different ways, and that results in quite a different visualization. So, consider that. I used John point. If I used John point, then my visualization ends up looking something like, like this. So I've got X, Y, and I've got some individual points that are being plotted. If instead I used John text, then what I ended up with if I used John text is a kind of similar thing. So I've got the same axes as I had before, X and Y, but my points are now uh, being labeled. So I've got A, B, and C that are, that are kind of here. And then finally, if I use John Cole, then I get something that's completely different. I get some sort of columns at each of the different X values. So I get kind of columns that look perhaps something like this. Okay, so roughly if I use John Cole, I get something that ends up looking like that. So why do I get these different visualizations? Well, I like to think about joms as representing effectively a sort of measure of the environment. So if you think about in the, in the sort of biological analogy that both your genes plus your environment determines what eventually a person or an organism will look like, I think in ggplot that's also kind of true. So the genes are kind of defined by the aesthetics, but the particular environment you choose determines what your visualization ultimately looks like. So John Point particularly, it, it ignores the, the label. So here the only thing that gets plotted are the points. John Text, it does take into account the label and so then it plots this particular type of plot. And John Cole, again, it ignores the label and it produces its own sort of visualization. So I like to think about joms as representing the kind of environment and the aesthetics as representing the kind of genes in our analogy. And only when I combine both the genes and the environment together do I ultimately end up at what my visualization looks like. So only when I combine the aesthetics and, and the joms do I actually get an ultimate uh, visualization.